Welcome back to Let's Keep This Practical, where we talk about leadership, diversity, equity, and inclusion, and of course, life. I'm Karen Hines, founder and CEO of Workplace Success Group. Today, I want to talk about a topic that came up in one of our webinars a few weeks ago. One of the attendees said, in everything that companies are doing now in their back-to-work strategy, what are they doing for individuals who are not frontline staff but they work throughout the pandemic to support frontline staff. Think about that. We are focusing on those who were at home and they're now reintegrating into the workplace. We're focusing on those who were or who are frontline staff workers and, and, and they're there and they, they were the ones who we saw and we saw lots of efforts going out to thank them and acknowledge them. But there's an army of workers who you never saw because they're the ones behind the scenes. Maybe they were processing your paychecks. Maybe they were in charge of HR. Maybe they were cleaning. Whatever it is they did, they were not seen. And therefore, they may not have received any recognition at all. But as leaders, it is critical that you pay attention to that segment of your population as well. You know, they have mental health concerns. They have uh, family concerns they need to consider. They have time concerns. Some may need some time off and, and time to breathe because they've been going for so long. And some are even raising the topic of hazard pay for those who were involved and put themselves at risk. So for leaders, it is important that as you reconsider what your workers need, don't forget, and I'm gonna call these the forgotten workforce. Force. They're the ones that because they were behind the scenes, they never were thanked probably or were never recognized. So what are you doing? And if you are an individual contributor, so you're not in a leadership role, when you return to the workplace, so maybe you're a frontline staff, you know who these individuals are. Go up to them and thank them. Help them to be seen because we all want to be seen. We want to be heard. We want to know that our concerns are valid and they're acknowledged. So you as an individual contributor, you as a team member, you go up and speak to them. Don't just wait for your leaders to do all the work because it's going to take a much different a new environment for us to thrive in this post-COVID environment that we're in. You know, let's keep this practical. You know, like, subscribe, and follow us. WorkplaceSuccess.com.